Question 7 part 1 has given, has, has given us the graph of the inverse cos of x and it asks us to sketch the graph of 3 times the inverse cos of x take 1. So this is, is starting off with a transformation question. 3 is going to make this graph stretch 3 times uh, three, with a scale factor of 3 parallel to the y-axis. So here when it goes up to pi, ours is now going to go up to 3 pi. Other than that, it's not going to look much different. The, the negative 1 is going to translate this graph. It's going to shift it one unit that way. So our graph that used to start here at negative 1 is actually going to start here, like that. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like that, with this being 3 pi, that being 1, and that being two.